the 23 World Cup men's squad for the 2018 World Cup Russia. Giovanni Dos Santos alongside with his brother, you know, Carlos Vela, you know, Rafael Marquez, Irving Lozano, you know, Hector Moreno, you know, all these players, you know, but the, all these players is included in the squad. But reading down the 23 men squad for Mexico, a player, a player that I thought for sure, for sure is going to make the squad was Jonathan Gonzalez. We all have known the story about Jonathan Gonzalez, born in the U.S., you know, and California to Mexican parents, chose this and opted out after being neglected by the U.S. or feel neglected by the U.S. Confederation to go play for Mexico with the hopes of playing at the 2018 World Cup. After all, I guess even in this decision that he made, which I supported him from the decision that he made, still didn't earn him the nod to represent Mexico at the 23, 2018 World Cup that's happening in Russia. But besides that, man, Mexico, we all have known the usual suspect, Okochoa, you know, the longtime serving goalkeeper. We all know these players was going to be in the 23 minute squad. But the fact of the matter is that, okay, now that this guy, you know, the coach, he basically played with the media, stating he had known his 23 man squad. Then the other week, you know, he said it all injuries. We got to see how it is shaping now. And which is, there is no sound like a coach or a manager, that's for sure to me. But then he named his squad. Whatever, Jonathan Gonzalez is not included, but can the coach keep a consistent starting lineup? Can the coach be consistent? Can the coach, you know, not actually place players out of position? And can Mexico beat the curse of passing the round of 16? This squad definitely got to do it, man. This squad definitely could do it. I would just hope to see Jonathan Gonzalez supplying Herbin Lozano on the wing, but that's another story. For the next World Cup, if he even makes the Mexican squad, which he probably will because once most of the Mexican midfielders and players is aging, you know. We're moving on into passing the torch. Probably next four years, the next World Cup, we'll see a whole bunch of new Mexican kids hungry, ready to represent their national teams. But, you know what I mean? Arriba, let's go Mexico.